York is saw. It's time once again for Night in the Woods. In the last episode, we went to the library and we discovered a whole heap of ghost stories which gave us some leads on places to go to look for the ghostly figure that kidnapped the child at Harfest. So, our friends are going to assist us with that, so B's going to take us to the graveyard and Greg's going to take us to the historical society and Angus is going to take us to Possum Jump. But what also happened last episode, we, uh, as an aside, is that we discovered Selmers is actually a more brilliant poet than we gave her credit for. Because we uh, stumbled across the poets meeting at the library. But enough chat, let's see what's happening with chat on the computer. Okay, everyone else has something to say. News of the day is... Scientist. Rising sea levels will increase shark attack frequency for obvious reasons. I think May would probably think that's kind of cool. Anyway, B says, Last night inspired me. For the longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks, B. Angus says, Away message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Okay, maybe that's why he's got a picture of a planet. And Greg says, Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tyre. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Okay. Why does your mouth taste like a tyre? <laughs> yes, that's what Sharkle has to say about that. Alright, well, let's go down and... Have a chat with Mum. Though there might be more things to discuss. No? Well, that sounds like a lot of rumbling about. So I'm just going to check in here habitually. Something may change. Because now I think that the tooth that we found in the safe has actually got to do with that his, uh, secret society we learned about. Which was apparently from the teeth of all the the guy who ran the mine? Or something like that? And so we've ended up with one of those teeth. Oh. Hey, bird. Sorry I'm always rude to you. Oh. Okay. We're feeling a little bit of, um... Consideration, maybe? Alright. Let's talk to Mum, if she has anything to say. Please have something nice to say. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Yeah, we had another weird dream in the last episode as well, this time with fish. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working. Kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Ugh. What did you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was... weird? Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hun. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Anything else? Yes, there is something else. Nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. Just want to never leave bed. I love them. Nice and grey. Sun's too bright sometimes. Need some cloudies. Gloomy little eel you are. Eels, mum. Eels, honey. Alright, I'm out. Bye bye, sweetie. Or are we? We are. Okay. So the eels continues. Alright, so now that we have places potentially to go... Oh, change of music. <gasps> I think... Oh. Oh, we can keep going to the right now. Oh, temptation. Yep, let's do it. What's down this way? Oh! Suddenly it's very wooden. Farming. 
I could farm. If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting into the farm life. The problem with farms is the amount of poop. Like, even if you don't have animals, you actually buy poop or something and shovel it all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. Yeah, but you can get synthetic fertilizer these days, which is made from poop. Oh, this is a cool bridge. I'll oh, get to sit on it a while and think and enjoy the view. Nope, that that seems to be it. Oh, mint is the uh, graffito here. Bridge freezes before road. Ah, yes, so we're that far north. Welcome to Historic Possum Springs, original county seat of Deep Hollow County. You're not lost, you're here. After this, a few miles, and you go under the highway, and it's just rolling fields and farms. I miss the corn mazes this fall, and the haunted barn in Brittle. Always next year, for campfires and corn dogs. Oh, more. Weird that town ends like, BAM! Right here. There's like a line somewhere that no one can see, but you can put it on a map. Yep. It's, that's the thing about boundaries. I mean, sometimes you can see them and sometimes you can't, but they mean an awful lot. Oh, I can walk on the railings from the bridge. Can I? No, I can't go up on the truss. Well, I've got to walk across the entire length. Because why not? And there may be an achievement in it. No, it doesn't look like it. Wishful thinking. So... For heading the other way, I mean, there actually wasn't that much. But I suppose it'll become more significant as time goes on. Alright, so we go back past home. Though, I wonder... I haven't actually been up on the wires here for a little while. Let's jump off the car. Oh, this is how we get up there. Right, anything useful up here? Well, to be honest, I don't think so. No, I think it just... It's another way of, uh... Yeah, getting onto the wires here. But no, Mr. Chazikov. I suppose that'll be tomorrow. Anyway, Selmus, hi! Hey, Selmus, you were great last night! Aw, oh, thanks! Having you to bounce ideas off helped. I am good for that. Want to hear a new poem? Uh, sure. This is a short one. Because I'm tired. Me too, so that works out. Ahem. <clears throat> I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before too. It's crazy making. What were you doing at the library? I go to the library. No, but seriously. Oh, okay. That was interesting. Crying crocodile in a hat and... Hmm. I mean, what have you got to say? I play a mean banjo. Claw hammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. You know Long Black Veil? Vale? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yep, my dad likes that stuff. You know Willow Garden? Nope. Eh. Okay, we're bonding. Dude, we're bonding. This is cool. Alright, anyway, I'm just going to use your porch to do the thing. Just in case there's anything up here. But... I kind of have my doubts. Oh, hello. No, I am glad I came up here then. Who are you? And what do you want? Hey, little girl. I'm a legal adult. Oh, sorry. Who are you? Liz. I used to live here. Where? This building right here, before you were born. Why did you move away? Went to school. Wandered off, I guess. Do you like it better where you live now? It's nice. Possum Springs is nice too. I think it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, pretty alright. 
When I was a girl about your... I'm 20. Height. I used to lay awake at night, worried that statue would come to life and climb in my window. Oh jeez, that's spooky. You never want someone hanging around outside your window. No magical evil statues, at least. Yeah, nothing evil or magic should get that close. I live in the attic. No one can get to my window. That's good. Not even vampires or warlocks or skeleton men. I'm glad we had this talk. Me too. See ya. Okay, so that's cool. You're just chilling out of the roof even though you don't live here anymore. Hmm, then why? I mean, one of the things I've really enjoyed about this game is that it does throw you, you know, a character from time to time. And you just learn a little bit more about the world. And there's just those little touches. I mean, they've really thought a lot about these sorts of things. Okay. Let's at least go up to the church, check up on Bruce and Kate. Though, I wonder... I mean, that's probably the graveyard, and that's a whole heap of people who died in the... in the mining massacre. Yep, here's Bruce. Getting kind of cold, huh? Yeah, nip in the air at night. I like fall when it gets cold. Me too. Real pity out as well. I used to cry at fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. Hmm. I did that when my daughter was born. Oh, you have a daughter. You have a daughter? Okay. Thanks, May. Yep. Where is she? You probably shouldn't have asked that. Sorry. It's fine. Hmm, so now we've learned a little bit more about Bruce. Hang on, where's your... Oh, here it is. Greg? Oh, no, you're not Greg. You're Jen. Hey, Jen. Hey, May Borowski? Yeah. What are you doing back here? Does Greg know you're back? Nah, just here for a day. Had to pick some stuff up from Greg's mum. Hauling back to school tonight. Ah. Didn't you go to school? What are you doing here? Dropped out, kinda. Same as you, just back for a day. No. Let's be truthful. Oh, sorry to hear that. Eh, whatever. What are you going for? I want to do fashion design. Is that a job you can get? Theoretically. You still go crossbow hunting? Greg still does. Kinda. Yeah, I still had rabbits and stuff. Nothing big. Don't get much chance at school. I was shooting at that tree over there. Then I noticed there was a dude sleeping behind it, so I stopped. Oh yep, yeah, that's Bruce. He's nice. Well, I'm just glad I didn't accidentally put a bolt in his face. Oh yeah, that'd be bad. Well, it was nice seeing you. You still see Greg sometimes? Oh yeah, all the time. Well, tell that cousin of mine he needs to come see me out in Bright Harbor. Oh, uh, yeah, will do. He's not leaving here. Oh, I don't know. I think he should. Guy's got to spread his wings. Maybe his wings are just fine here. May, you're getting possessive. Nah. Greg's too much for this town. Ah, <laughs> no argument there. See ya. Take it easy. So, Jen. Greg's cousin, okay? Yeah, I see the little eye patch. So maybe this is... Is this possum jump? Because of that? And didn't... Wasn't there a ghost off in the distance there or something? Well, that was cool. We got to meet someone else in Greg's family. So that's two characters today. So Liz and Jen. And we'll check in with uh, Pastor K. Or is that Pastor K? As in... You no, know, the food dish or something. Some 
Um, some pun that I'm not getting. Alright. Uh, let's talk to Mum. Hey, you free? Maybe. Want to go on a quick adventure? Don't you have a job? Pasta's gone. I'm going to skip out. Oh, yeah. Not right now. An adventure with Mum? Yeah, we need to bond. Oh, yeah. Let's skip work. Only I'm skipping work, hon. Oh, hush. I'm an accessory to the crime. Also not a crime, sweetie. Alright, so what are we doing? I don't think I've ever been up here. It's all these power lines. We used to come here all the time. Did we? No, we as in my friends and I when we were your age. Oh, okay. I'm not used to you using any other wees. Believe it or not, I've had several wees. Huh. What else is up here? Can I climb the tree? Can I jump to the tree? No. So I guess this is somewhere out above Possum Springs. This is nice. Used to be a lot more trees around up here. They got cut down where they put in the towers. Ah, of course. I don't remember that. You know, all kinds of things happened before you were born. What? Some minor parts of history took place, yes. So what is this place? Jenny's Field. Ever heard of it? No, I don't think. Back in the 30s, there was this woman and her daughter walking here. And the woman's daughter is in front of her, and then she's just gone. Like, disappeared. What happened? Turns out there was a sinkhole that opened up when a pillar collapsed in the mines in the hill. Jeez. Yep. No one could see it because of the grass. This is ominous. Her name was Jenny. This is Jenny's field. They never found her. Just... Whisp. Gone. So... Wait, why are we here? What? You're not up for a little risk-taking. Okay. Ah! What's wrong? I thought it was a sinkhole thing. Hmm, how about that? Okay. Oh! Ah, brick chimney or something from the mines. Okay, what is that? For some reason, before Unified pulled out, they brought this old lime furnace up on the mountain. Ah, so it's a lime furnace, okay. Well, I think they need the lime for... Isn't that part of the coking process? Why? Who knows? Unified did a lot of things. Looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. Like Jenny. But slower. We used to climb up there. Wanna try? Ha ha ha, sweetie. I had you and also a lot of birthdays and donuts since then. And not much climbing. Maybe that's something for me to do then. Yep, this is something for me to do. Okay, so presumably the darker ones. Yep, the darker ones are what I climb on. Okay. So, uh, good thing this chimney is sealed up here. Ha ha ha, yes, good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. Uh, Possum Springs are most of the valley. The highway. Well, I could probably see both. Probably Possum Springs are most of the valley. What does it look like? A quilt? Like someone dumped out some blocks. Yeah, I think that's kind of more what it looks like. Haha, <laughs> sounds about right. I remember I couldn't tell if being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, I know that one. 
I used to have a dream when I was your age, where I was in the big parking lot out by the tracks, and I started running, but there was always more parking lot. Hmm. What do you think it meant? I don't know. Feels weird to tell you what your dreams mean. Why? You're my mum. Fair. Why did we come up here today? Well, I was hoping you'd fall into a sinkhole, obviously. That didn't work out. Drat. Guess I'll just have to keep you. I couldn't see what your expression was when you said that. Do you need to? No. Well, see you at home. Hey! Well, that was a nice little interlude. There we are. Oh, but there's Jenny at the bottom there. Right. So now we have a bottom picture for Mum. That's cool. It was good to actually see Mum walking about rather than just sitting down all the time. So maybe she's got something else to say now that we're back. Something elucidating. Nope. Nope. She's just busy reading her book. Instead of doing church administration. So if Kate's not in, I suppose because Kate's probably with the city council having that meeting in regards to Bruce. Now that's the thing that always has struck me odd about America, or at least when I started discovering it. You could have a city of 100 people and a village of 10,000. The... It's, it's all got to do with the way the the local government set up, and that that feels really weird to me. I mean, you'd expect a village to be smaller than a town, and a city to be bigger than a town and a village. So, the fact that it um, is otherwise is you know, a bit a bit off-putting. I mean, I understand that it's you know, got to do with legislation and all that stuff. Oh, and here's uh, the fisherman again. Me thinks us by a tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy crap. I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. Dude, I went to your poetry meeting. Okay, Rose is not there. I can't steal a pretzel. Interesting. Does this mean all well, the miracle rats have gone? Oh. You're new. Whoa, hi down there. Ahoy there, May. Ha ha ha, is that Mr. Salvi? What are you doing in a boat? In the tunnel. In the late afternoon. What are you doing home from school? You answer first. I guess I kind of dropped out. No, you answer first. It's my side hustle. Salvi Salvage. What's that? I'm a junkman, May. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh no, I'm still doing the landscaping, but I'm also a purveyor of fine goods for the discerning antique enthusiast. Okay, side hustle. Yeah. You want to come along? Boat ride back into the tunnel. Going to be a short trip today, but might be fun. Uh, sure. Um, yeah. Uh, this probably isn't smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. Usually I take one of the kids over there. Hey, teens. I'm going on this boat now. Just saying, like, if anyone should ask. I got in this boat with Mr. Salvi here. Okay, thanks. What was... Okay, let's go. So there's suddenly a whole heap of more stuff to do. Ooh. Now, lots of folks from somewhere else drive past between Fort Lucene and Willow Grove. And they like going to antique shops out here. I think they think it's exclusive or something, and that's the side hustle. Wow. Do they know it's garbage? It's not garbage. Sorry. Here, we're coming up with one now. You'll see. Oh, okay, what's that? That's a thing. This is garbage. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my priceless antique. Once it's cleaned up a bit. Look around, find something. Is this thing safe to walk on? Oh yeah, years of sediment and rocks and junk. Haha, <laughs> you called it junk too. Got anything else to say? Find anything good? Nah. Okay. 
I suppose I find something and then talk to you. That's an axe. Huh, big axe. Do I want a big garbage axe? Yes. It's so big and axy. And this looks like some sort of badminton racket. Oh wow, it's a thing! A sled? Really bad boat? Maybe you like sleeping in it? Tiny garbage hammock? Should I take this garbage bed instead of the garbage axe? Oh, I can only pick one. Oh. No, I'm going to take the axe. Eh. Find anything good? Kill a garbage axe. Oh, nice. Looks like an old fire axe from somewhere. Axe murderer garbage axe. Yes, you could conceivably murder someone with this. Have to sharpen it first. Oh, I'll sharpen it. Planning on murdering someone? I keep my options open. Oh dear. And somehow he'd run over his own foot. No. With the mower. Ah! Oh! Yeah, he's got a limp now. But he still comes to work. Jeez. Gotta work. Oof. Okay, so remember how I said I needed a second pair of hands? Oh yeah, what was that about? So, there's a little panel back where you are. Gonna need you to use it and move this light up here. Are we... Wait, why? We've got bats down here. So? I don't like bats. But bats like bugs, and bugs like light. So you're gonna shine the light all around them and get them to scatter, looking for bugs. They mostly go away for a while when they scatter. Oh. Okay. Now get ready, we're coming up in a place I'd like to cluster together. Okay, I got it. Here we go, up above me. Okay, wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. Sure were a lot of them. Oh, I hate them. But bats are cute. They are not. Can I take a bat home? Ain't no bat getting on my boat. Sooner swim back than have a goddamn bat on my boat. Okay, okay, okay. No bats. No bats. Alright, we're coming up on another island. Garbage hole! You gotta look around? No, I'm gonna hang out in the boat. Of course I'm gonna look around. <laughs> You're sarcastic like your dad. Do you still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my meats from him once a week. Last fall, us and some of the boys from the factory days went up to Stuter's old hunting camp. You get anything? Ed Gress got a six point buck. Oh nice. Alright, let's go. We've got a schedule to keep. There's a schedule? I presume you're going to say, did you find anything good? So there's a thing there. And a thing all the way back here. Holy shit. Dracula teeth. This is so rad, I could totally be a Dracula. Of all the false teeth in the world, Dracula teeth are the best. Should I take these excellent Dracula teeth? Blah! Why do Dracula say blah? I'm going to put these in and find out. I uh, should probably clean it first. Uh, that's gross. Don't. You don't know where they've been. You don't know how long they've been here. Oh my god. It's a coconut monkey, like the one Grandad brought back from Hawaii. Do I want this coconut friend instead of these Dracula teeth? Nah. It's kind of stinky and soft. Yeah, let's go with the Dracula teeth. They're kind of weirder. And funnier. Find anything good? Dracula teeth! Oh wow! I remember these. They still make it. Now there's a market that never goes away. People will always want to be Draculas. I don't want to be a vampire. No choice, I'm going to put these in. Oh god, please don't, they're disgusting. Gonna bite ya. Alright, let's keep going. Blah! And that's how I saved Longest Night. Haha, <laughs> wow! Did you ever tell your kids? What? No, it spoiled the magic. Did they ever notice your neck scar? If they did, they never said nothing. Did the cops ever catch the guy? Oh no, he's still out there. But he ain't coming back anytime soon. Wow, great story. More bats? 
Alright, we're coming up on another bat nest. Do bats have nests? Whatever, get the light ready. Shine it up there and get rid of them. Aye, aye, sir. Here they come. Oh, there's a lot of them there. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. I got them good. Phew. Thanks, kid. I'm 20. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, at my age, that's plenty kid enough. Rude. Coming up on another island. How many of these are down here? Oh, I ain't counted. Seem to find new ones all the time. And lose old ones. Spooky. We're pretty far back now. It's always a bit spooky. Ooh, we've stopped. On purpose. Whoa, old trolley car over there. Yeah, we're getting close to where the flood really hit hardest. I can't imagine this place still up and running. It was quite something. Had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Way back when they got these new trolley cars, they were designed by some company overseas. Big and fancy, like France or something. They are pretty. Yeah, they still got their charms. You gonna look around? Sure. Of course I'm gonna look around. So what do we got? We have a thing and we have a football helmet. Oh nice! Football! Our official religion around here. I could totally wear this. It's functional! I could totally wear this in the winter in case I slip on the ice. I could wear this if I was in a fight. Could probably stop a bullet even. I don't know. It smells inside though. Do I want this thing? Nah. It's functional, but... Hmm. I want to know what the other thing is. Oh, huh. I wonder how old this is. It's pretty soggy. What sport even is this? It's a sports mystery. The worst kind of mystery. It's pretty, though. Do I want this thing? Yes. Could hang it on the wall. That'd be pretty neat. And then look up what it's even for. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Let's go with the thing. Find anything good? Check this out! Oh wow, that's an old hockey pennant! How old? Like, really old? Uh, 1970s? 80s? Oh, that's like, medium old. We had a hockey team back then? Sure did! Ice Arena used to be out where Ham Panther is now. Jeez, so much stuff used to be here. Lot's still here. But yeah, lot's gone. Any more bats to get rid of? Nah, they don't come back this far to sleep. They fly around a good bit back here, though. Unless you clear them off before you get here. Where even are we? Almost to the fire platform. Oh, wow. Is that where we're going? Well, you got rid of most of the bats back there, so maybe we can make one last stop at the big one. The big one? I thank God it wasn't down here when the flood hit. The river jumped, right? Yeah. Flood was bad enough. River just up and moved. Had something to do with the reservoir, too. I forget. I guess it was a while ago. Weird to think that rivers can move. Oh, they're always moving, kid. Twenty-year-old. They're just usually moving in one direction. No one's really prepared for when it stops doing what it's always been doing. Hmm. Alright, here we are. The big one. If I can speak for that as well, the local river has flooded here once in my lifetime. Wow. This looks like something I dreamed or something. It's familiar in some ways. Back then they thought the trolleys would stay on the track, come a big flood. But now, nah, they went right along with the water. Bobbing up and down, crashing into big piles like this. Jeez. Can't fix something like this. What are you going to do? Dam up the river? Dig this whole thing out? Nobody got that money. Nobody got that time. This is like visiting some place beyond the grave. Like where you go when you die. Some folks did die down here. Oh yeah. You gonna go look around? Have to say, not much back this far usually. Most stuff washes in from side channels, gets caught up back where we came from. Yeah, I think I'll still look around. Yeah, definitely. That looks like an old gear or something. So I've got more trolley cars, a hook. Wonder what this used to lock up. Really odd lock. Pretty neat key. Someone bought this to keep something safe or secret. Do I want to take this? Well, this thing has like someone's intentions in it or something. It feels heavy. 
Someone should have it. Yeah, definitely. It'll probably open something somewhere. That's a tuba. And that's the end of the island. Why is there a tuba here? Wow. Wonder if it still works. Should probably clean all the mud out of it first. Do I want to take this? Even more than the lock? Oh. Decisions, decisions. No, I think the lock is probably worth more. I got nowhere to put it, and I can't play it. I also feel like some horn playing ghost is going to haunt me if I take it from here. Yeah, probably the same uh, ghost we get in our dreams. Okay, so let's go back to Mr. Salvi. Find anything good? Got a lock and a key. Oh, what are you going to do with that? I don't know. I just figured someone should have it. Hmm. That's thoughtful, May. I feel like we're a thousand miles away from Possum Springs. Yeah, we're not so far, though. Let's get going. Here we are. Wow. So this is the fire platform. What? So... We had the workers getting ready and here they are... Disappearing over the hill. What else is back here? Two things to look at. Okay. So that's it. That's the other mural. It's so... Yeah. Yeah. Basically the only thing back here that survived the flood. I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgotten maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. I wonder if in like 500 years some archaeologists will find it and wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and then fall apart. You okay, mate? Yeah. I'll be fine. I'm just going to look for a minute. Take your time. Oh, did I have to look at the other thing? That was it. Oh. I didn't get to look at the other thing. Thanks for joining me. That was great. I could totally do this as a job. Oh no, a competitor! I'm going to get me a boat and go find some trash and sell it to rich dorks. That's the spirit. Take care. You too. Good luck. So that was a nice little interlude. Here we are, chasing off the bats in the boat. And that, folks, I think is where I'm going to end the episode for now. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to know when my next video comes out, follow me on Twitter at Dairaku, and pay attention to my Twitch, also at Dairaku. Occasionally I will stream there. So, until I see you next time, Otakari-sama. Thank mm -hmm. you.